Hi there. So the other day I thought it'd be kind of cool to maybe put some uh, text or graphics on my oscilloscope, you know, and I was kind of looking for a way to do that. Uh, so I started doing a little bit of internet research and I actually found a, a clock kit. I think it might have been through SparkFun, I'm not sure. And uh, unfortunately it looks like they're discontinued. And, you know, there's a few other people doing some handmade uh, handmade kits and projects, but they're, they're pretty high priced. Um, but while I was looking for this, I found some videos on YouTube of people kind of doing the same concept, basically almost like artwork through, through uh, an oscilloscope display. And basically just using audio files to do that. And I thought it was kind of cool. And uh, one guy even started up a Kickstarter fund to, to basically release a, an album and a, an accompanying video with it. Uh, full of oscilloscope sounds and, and visuals and so I thought maybe today we would take a look at that All right, so you can see I have my laptop sitting right next to my oscilloscope It's a uh, quite a bit older model. It's an old BK precision model 2120 I literally picked it up for nine bucks uh, at a savers basically a, a thrift store here in town uh, but you know what? It actually seems to work pretty good. And so I was curious about these uh, these files, uh, these videos online uh, that show this oscilloscope artwork, basically. And, you know, there were some people in the comments who, who said they kind of didn't believe what it was. And, and I totally knew it was possible, but I thought, you know what? Uh, I'm going to hook up uh, my laptop to my oscilloscope. So what I have is the audio out, basically the equivalent of the headphone jack, uh, going into the inputs, both the XY inputs of the laptop. I'm going to go ahead and start this here just so we can uh, get some visuals going. And um, so I have the oscilloscope in XY mode. It's down around uh, 0.1 volts division. And uh, you can see that uh, the guy that put up this video on YouTube, uh, the audio file that goes along with it is actually what's producing these visuals. And you can see my scope is following along pretty good. Um, you know, this is kind of cool. It draws a little square or cube here and starts rotating around. I'll turn up the volume here just so we can hear the audio file that kind of goes along with it. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down now just so you can hear me. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty sweet. And then uh, not only that, but I'll uh, open up some other videos that uh, this gentleman has. Uh, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his first name. It's J-E-R-O-B-E-A-M. So Jer Jerobeam, Jero Jerobeam, I guess. Uh, last name Fenderson. And uh, I'll find one of his other videos here. It's kind of cool. He shows how to uh, draw mushrooms, which appeared in the last video. I'm going to show you how to draw mushrooms on an oscilloscope. With sound. We're going to use our left audio channel for horizontal deflection. So he actually kind of goes through a little bit and uh, tells you kind of the generic method of how he's doing this. He's obviously using some pretty convoluted uh, software to uh, produce these sound waves in audio files and in fact uh, here's a video of him playing live uh, meaning like he's actually out at a facility uh, like on a stage somewhere with a projector behind him so the audio file that you're hearing is from his live performance and what you're seeing on my oscilloscope is what the audience seeing from him. See, he's got the uh, projectors there in the background, so see there, the two kind of match up. My oscilloscope has a little bit of trouble kind of keeping up with some of these waveforms, um, but it's still pretty cool. Wow, 
like I say, you can see that he's uh, playing live. There's his name there. And uh, basically, um, he's also, as I kind of mentioned earlier, started a, a Kickstarter fund for an album. Um, just went live, I think, today. Uh, this morning when I logged on, it only had 20 backers. Now it has 39, and he only had about $600 this morning, and now over 1000 with uh, still basically the full campaign, 29 days to go. So, you know, I'll put, it, I'll put the links uh, underneath here, and, and if this is something you're interested in, I suggest you check it out and, you know, maybe give him a few bucks to donate and you'll get a copy of the album and whatever else he has to offer. But it's just something kind of cool that I thought I would uh, share with you today.